So Jasmine is red today. Uh, should you worry? You know, should you panic? Should you sell? I'll tell you no. Uh, be bullish. You know, be a buyer right here because yeah, this thing looks bullish. This thing looks incredible. Uh, we talked about you know the targets, so not really a surprise. Uh, if you look at you know many of my recent updates, you know we talked about these targets right here, uh, retesting these low, uh, these highs right here. You know, 02750, uh, that is my first target, but that's not the one I'm excited about. You know, I'm more excited about, you know, these next targets, you know, five cents uh, and after five, you know, nine, after nine, you know, we're looking at 26. You know, those, uh, those are long-term targets, of course, and those are the targets that I'm actually looking forward to. Uh, short term, if you go to the lower time, you know, on the four hour, we are having a little pullback. You know, this is a nice pullback. Uh, right now, you know, you definitely want to be a buyer, all right? I don't think Jasmine comes back and take out these lows right here. And if we lose these lows, that would not be bullish on the four hour. So I think we are going to put in a higher low, all right? I don't know if we stop right here or if we make it all the way down to the 50. But... It really doesn't matter. I don't think we come back and take out these lows right here. So we definitely want to be buying right here, not panicking. Uh, if we go to the one hour, yeah, only a matter of time. The one hour actually looks like we are going to turn bullish very soon. You know, price, once we get back above, you know, this blue line, I think you have, you know, another move to retest these highs right here. These are your local targets. Yeah, unless you're trading. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't pay any mind to yeah, these two targets right here. Like, they don't really mean anything. A 5% move it doesn't really mean anything if you are a long-term holder. Uh, long-term uh, long outlook, you know, Jasmine looks incredible, right? This is monthly. Uh, if you're not a buyer right here, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Like, if you are not a buyer right here, I really don't know how to help you. So it's not just Jasmine, of course. There's a bunch of other projects. And the one that's incredibly bullish right now, and I actually just shared this with the members, and I'm telling you right now, if you like the project and you wanna and you wanna invest in the project, this is the time to be a buyer. So I am talking about no other than Dogecoin. All right, guys, Dogecoin looks incredible. I personally am going to buy Dogecoin. Uh, once the market opens on Robinhood, of course. So this is all right. Don't don't think about you know missing out on this move right here. You know, yes, Dogecoin is already up two hundred percent, but you want to look forward. Like, what is Dogecoin more likely to do moving forward? And I'm telling you right now, Dogecoin's monthly chart is one of the most bullish monthly charts out there. This thing looks ridiculously bullish. So what Dogecoin is trying to do right now is break above this little 20 cents resistance. So if we go to the lower time, I'm going to show you exactly what that is. But anyways, if I'm on the monthly right here, uh, we have clearly broke above, you know, 15 cents. That was a major resistance. And uh, I don't see any other resistance on the monthly until you know, somewhere around 35 cents. All right. So on the monthly time frame, 35 cents is our first target. And after 35, our second target is right here. And these are not really much of a resistance, you know, 44 cents. And after 44 cents, you know, we're talking about the all time high, which is 74 cents. But you want to be a buyer right now and ride this monthly chart. Now, this is a monthly chart. So this is not a daily. This is not a weekly. This is a monthly chart right here, guys. So this is going to take some time. It is going to take some time for the price to reach these levels because you, you want to judge the performance of Dogecoin based on monthly closes, not based on daily close or weekly close but based on monthly closes. But I'm telling you right now, this thing looks incredibly bullish. You know, I just posted on my Twitter page right here. All right, right here. And I believe 
in a couple months from now, six or 12 months from now, we look back, this is going to be one of the most obvious, like, you know, when you look back, you have the luxury of, you know, looking back, you know, hindsight 2020, and you can say, wow, that was so obvious. But even right now, you know, Dogecoin looks very obvious. So my expectation is about, you know, a 3.5x from the current price, you know, which will put the price of Dogecoin somewhere around a dollar. And I think Dogecoin will definitely hit a dollar this time. Now, that is going to put the market cap of Dogecoin somewhere around $100 billion. So if Dogecoin is at a $100 billion market cap, you know, that should tell you what the entire cryptocurrency market is going to look like. Uh, just think about that. If Dogecoin is at a hundred billion dollar market cap, can you imagine where the market cap of the entire cryptocurrency market is going to be? Some of you are not bullish enough. So take advantage of Dogecoin. It's not just Dogecoin. There's a bunch of other projects that looks incredibly bullish. Check. Listen, I have a private Discord. It's ten dollars a month. Join us. I'm posting a lot of these charts in there. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of value to get out of it. And this is, you know, something like this is a preview, you know, is a preview of, you know, what's actually happening and, uh, you know, the type of setups you know, I'm sharing with the group. So Dogecoin, incredible. Uh, Jasmine looks incredible. You know, speaking of monthly setup, uh, if you look at Jasmine's monthly, uh, this one also looks really good. I mean, look at this right here, guys. Like, this is literally the beginning of an incredible bull market. You know, wait until Jasmine monthly RSI breaks above the 50 line. The moment we break above the 50 line, we are going to see, you know, the acceleration of price. And, uh, yeah, I mean, so it's only up from here. It is only up from here. Without... Yeah, without saying a lot, it is only up from here. ICP is also running. Uh, we'll do an update on ICP. The graph, you know, fetch AI and so, so, <clears throat> excuse me, so many other projects. Like, yeah, just the market looks incredible right now. The market definitely looks incredible. All right, uh, three more projects. And then, you know, I'm going to cover some of the projects that you guys are, you know, putting in the chat. But so I want to talk about Near Protocol, Firecoin, and ICP. Uh, Near looks incredible, and again, you know, this is the time where, like, if you really want to capture those bigger gains, like if you really want to want to do the five x, ten x, twenty x, you know, whatever x that you are after, you have to make sure that your higher time frames are set up correctly. Right? If your higher time frames are not set up correctly, you are going to be in big trouble. So you know, think about something that looks like this. Like this is something that you want to be part of. You know, near right now, 783, uh, a nice little pullback. But if you look at the monthly setup, I mean, this is an incredible looking chart right here. Uh, every single indicator, you know, it could be the MACD, it could be the RSI, you know, price action, uh, whatever moving average, every single indicator looks bullish right now. So the best, listen, the best, technically the best time to buy near protocol was right here. The moment we broke above moving average on the monthly, right here, right below $4. The moment we broke above on the monthly, that was the time to be super bullish on the monthly time frame. So this is the reason when I look at something like Dogecoin, that's exactly what Dogecoin has just accomplished. So if we go back to the Dogecoin chart and you look at Dogecoin, Dogecoin had just broke above the 21 monthly moving average. And this was, at least last month, was the best time to get into a long position. 